What's going on guys? We are back for another quick video update. In this video, I wanted to go over my Merch by Amazon results for the last six months. So that's the first six months of 2019 and show you guys where my print on demand business is with my largest platform, which is Merch by Amazon. So if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button to get daily updates on print on demand, e-commerce and KDP. And of course, check below in the description. I'm going to link to any tools I've talked about, uh, the blog and just some other relevant content. So make sure you guys look at the description there and let me know down below in the comments how your guys merch by Amazon or print on demand businesses are doing as we are in the summer lull months and getting ready for fourth quarter. So. With that being said, this is gonna be a fairly quick video. I'm just gonna show you guys where my business has uh, gone to in the last few months since I did my last video update and tell you guys what I've been doing that's been working, what hasn't. So let's go ahead and jump right on into the results. So here we are in the Pretty Merch dashboard. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my chart. <clears throat> All right, so as you guys can see, January, we did 98 sales. Uh, February, 117. March, 135. April, 123. May, 142. And last month, June, was a big one for me, 207 shirts sold. So my numbers have been steadily on the up and up. The crazy thing is if I compare these numbers to last year, a lot of you guys, if you've been following along on my journey, know that I started getting serious about Merch by Amazon here in June of last year. And that's when I really decided to commit to the, the platform and actually start putting in daily work to do uploads, optimize my listings and learn, learn, learn as much as I possibly could about the platform. And since that time, we have had quite explosive growth. Uh, obviously, you know, everyone's journey is a little bit different with Merch by Amazon. But for me, these have been fairly good results considering I haven't really put a ton of time into it. Um, since I am working a full-time job, this is definitely not a full-time thing for me. This is just kind of a side thing that I'm doing nights and weekends to actually grow a bit of passive income uh, from one of my online uh, income streams. So to break these numbers down for you guys, as you guys can see here, we had kind of a slow start to the year, 98 sales, uh, which I was still happy about at the time. And that was coming off of our you know, huge fourth quarter here with 237 in December. Now these results have continued to pick up as I got more and more serious about just being consistent with actually uploading to the Merch by Amazon platform here. Um, and as you guys can see, if we total these numbers up in the first six months, of 2019, I sold 822 shirts. Obviously, some of those are also pop sockets, but 822 products in those first six months. And that's all without any advertising whatsoever. I've done nothing other than optimizing my listings for Merch by Amazon's platform to actually get sales. Now, the other thing I wanted to point out is my royalties per sale have definitely increased quite a bit. I'm up to $1.91 per product sold, which uh, is quite a bit higher. I believe last year around this time, I was closer to a dollar and 20 cents or so. So I've put a lot of emphasis on actually, you know, with the products that I do have live, actually spending time and uh, increasing the prices to match what the marketplace price is. So I went through all of my listings right around February and took a look at them just to see what I could do to actually start getting some more money out of the business because I put you know a considerable amount in last year to actually get designs and get them up on the platform and I wanted to start actually seeing some return on that investment and it's definitely started to pay off. Uh, to break this number down a little bit further, we see here that my total royalties from Merch by Amazon alone are $3,441.94. And of that, guys, I'm proud to announce that $1,753 has been paid out from that just in the last six months. So uh, nearly half of my entire income from the Merch by Amazon platform has just been in these last six months as we've kind of upped our royalty pricing um, and just done a better job with actually optimizing and kind of building the business to be more of a long-term kind of sustainable online business. And in recent months, let me just back out of this. So you guys can see here, I'm still on tier 2000. I have 1,954 designs live. And the reason that I wanted to point this out is because this has been a very passive uh, business for me for the last about two months here. I really haven't been doing a ton. That's actually one of the reasons I haven't been doing a ton of content around Merch by Amazon is because I've been kind of tapped out here at the uh, 2000 tier level and just kind of trying to get my sales numbers up and uh, you know move towards getting up to that 4,000 
um, tier. So in total, we are at 1,870 sales. Now this does include this month, which it's today's July 31st. So we are at the end of July and I'll do a recap video for this month. But to give you guys a little bit of a preview, this month we've already done 148 products sold on Merch by Amazon, which is still a solid month. Now, why the drop from last month? Well, June was a, I would say, kind of an anomaly for me. We had a lot of big orders randomly through this month, um, and that's kind of what caused these numbers to spike. There wasn't really any reason other than uh, just you know maybe some lucky orders that came through for larger bulk purchases. But this month was also a great royalty month for me. I paid out $410 uh, or so in the month of June. And I'll go ahead and break those numbers down in a sec here so you guys can actually see what I got paid out on uh, on my royalties. But 207 sales and that, that equated to about $410 or so. So I'm looking forward to kind of continuing to grow this platform. Uh, you know, we are back down to about 150 products sold and that is going to generate me about $376.49 for this month. We might be able to eke in a few more today, hopefully if we're lucky, but uh, almost... All of these products are being sold in the US marketplace. I probably only have, I'd say 50 products that are live in the UK marketplace. Um, so m the majority of my sales are actually still coming from the US. I do wanna develop the UK market a little bit more. I'm probably still gonna stay away from the German marketplace just because of the language barrier. But I do believe the UK market is still something that's strong and a big opportunity for me to take my designs and move them over. Now, what's been working for me here I kind of alluded to it earlier, but I spent a lot of time actually going back into my product listings, optimizing ones that weren't selling and putting better keywords in there, and then also going and updating my pricing to make sure that the prices match the market and get a little bit more out of each sale. So what you guys can see here, you know, all of the products I've sold today, for example, are all standard t-shirts and we're ranking or we're pricing them where we're making about $1.42 up to $3.69 on each sale. Now, a lot of the ones that I've moved up in price, it's either because the market is determining that that price is a good price for that market uh, for, or for that niche on Amazon, or it's because it's a shirt that's been selling really, really well for me. And it, now that I have a really solid BSR uh, ranking with it, I can go ahead and actually up the price and people will still buy it because it has that BSR. It's showing right at the top of the Amazon uh, rankings and people see it immediately and they're willing to pay for it. A lot of these products are also starting to get good reviews and positive feedback on them, which is awesome. And uh, makes me really happy to see that the the product quality that Amazon's been sending out has still been on the up and up. So I haven't had any complaints that I've noticed of, you know, any bad products or designs that are printed off and, you know, don't look as good here. So um, with that being said, guys, what I'm gonna be doing going forward is Hopefully by the end of next month, I will cross that 2,000 all-time shirts sold uh, mark. And I'm hoping that with that coming, I will be able to hit the tier 4,000 mark. And at that point, we're going to go ahead and start putting a lot more emphasis back into Merch by Amazon, seeing if we can double up on these numbers and get our monthly closer to you know $700 or so each month. I think that's going to be a really critical milestone to actually see a bigger, bigger return on investment. And once we're making you know $700 a month, that gives us a little bit more room to take that money, reinvest it in the business, start playing around with some advertising, and then start pushing products onto the other platforms. There's tons and tons of other platforms out there, you know, obviously with the biggest ones being Etsy, Redbubble, Spreadshirt, etc. So I have all these designs that are already made, and the next kind of step here is to actually take these and move them off the Merch by Amazon channel onto the other platforms here and help us grow uh, even more. So. That is a very, very quick update on that. I do want to show you guys the uh, the royalty payout. So I'm going to hop over here really quick and we're going to go into the earnings. And as you guys can see, I just wanted to highlight here so you can see, you know, my royalty payout. We had $268 in January, uh, 239 here in February. 276 in March, April 258, May 302, and June $410. So we are steadily on the up and up with the royalty payouts as well. And this month we're tracking around $376 in payouts. And you guys can see if you compare that even to where I was last year. Last year I was pricing everything super, super low just to kind of get, you know, the bare minimum and start getting my products ranked. You know, I was only collecting $76, $100. 
Um, and as we headed into fourth quarter, you know, the numbers went up a little bit, but that was just because of sales volume. And even in December, we did $407 in royalty payouts. So as you guys can see, my last month here on the platform, $410 was my biggest royalty payout from any month on the Merch by Amazon platform. And I'm really excited about that number because it's uh, definitely showing me that Merch by Amazon is still a growing business model. And if you put the time and effort into it, you really can still find success here and actually grow this out. I'm not even gonna go into these ones because they didn't really make much. As you guys can see, $3.54 or $3.54 for three, $3 euro. Um, so it wasn't super, super significant uh, in the other marketplaces, but um, if we add all this up, we made roughly $1,753 in total profit just for the last six months. Uh, and that is going up every single month. And that's, again, guys, without any advertising, I haven't really put a lot more money into designs or anything else. So this is my only costs each month are for, you know, different tools that I use like Merch Informer. Um, and some of the other smaller tools that I'm using here and there. So I hope that helps give, give you guys a little bit of insight on the Merch by Amazon platform and what can be achieved if you put the time and work into this platform. Let me know down below in the comments how you guys are doing with Merch by Amazon and what is working for you guys or if you guys have any recommendations or something else that you want me to dive into, other topics. And again, as we get tiered up here, I am gonna start making more content around Merch by Amazon. Uh, and hopefully start you know, finding some other new niches and ways to grow on the platform here so that we can start really getting this uh, revenue stream up. So with that being said, guys, I am gonna cut this video at that, but I hope that was helpful and insightful for you guys, and I look forward to bringing you some more Merch by Amazon content. And as always, hit the subscribe channel to stay updated on what I'm doing with print on demand, e-commerce and Merch by Amazon specifically. And also check the description for all of the links to any tools I mentioned and anything else that is useful to print on demand and e-commerce. So with that being said, we will see you guys at the next video. Cheers.